You are listening to 5 Minute Meditations. Welcome back. This is your host Chandra. Glad that you're here. Glad that you're hearing. Glad that you're listening. Now in the Ayurveda, it describes that we digest things. And we digest things not just like food digestion. For example, I am pitta. I am have a nature of fire and kapha, very kind of earthy. Now, my pitta nature makes me want to eat so much. Therefore, for the past eight months, I've been doing a fast. I've been doing one meal a day, mostly successful. Now, another thing I like to eat is with, with my ears, I like to take in information, I like to read, I like to listen to podcasts, I like to listen to classes on the Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam. Now, many different podcasts I enjoy listening to. We have Wisdom of the Sages. That is a binge-worthy podcast. You got Raghunath and Kashtuba and their banter. Hilarious. Then you have Inside Yoga by Jai, and he's in the Bhakti Center. Another great one. We have Namras. He's also very hilarious. So Namras had a very special guest, Madhavananda Prabhu. Wonderful and a very learned, saintly person. And he spoke about the relationship between bhakti and art. He said that art is one of the the best examples or comparisons of bhakti in this world. And he gave different reasons. Now, one reason is you can't do bhakti for money. So if you're doing art for money, it's not really art. It becomes more commercialized if it's a, just a real expression of the heart. So that's number two. Art should touch the heart. Number three, art, you can't just uh, copy someone's song and call it art. You can't really just uh, trace someone's image and call it art. It should be original. So similarly, bhakti should be an expression of your actual love, not just a... a artificial imitation another example he gave was that in an art school maybe a thousand people out of a thousand that go to this school maybe two come come out to be really powerful uh, expressions of their art where 998 become craftsmen so similarly at a religious institution a spiritual institution there may be so many pseudo religionists religionists they may be religious or but then out of that maybe two actually really imbibe the principles of bhakti so as i was listening to this i was attending a class on art i was attending a class on art art criticism and in that in the uh academic book i came across this quote which is really interesting because it relates to our last topic the topic of the uh, the paradox between god and his energies this there's a simultaneous oneness and difference so the chapter was called unity and variety and balance and art so unity is a sense of oneness called advaita in the yoga tradition variety is a sense of uniqueness it's called dvaita so the book this is a little quote from the book. The chapter is called, uh, so it says, Unity refers to the oneness or organization of similarities between different elements that make, an, uh, make up a work of art. Artists use this principle of unity to make choices that link visual elements to each other in a composition. So unity basically means there's some kind of conformity, but variety, that's where you get the different ideas, That that's where you get contrast that creates an excitement and interest so variety is when you get relationships so that goes to the point that god is not just this oneness because god is a source of everything it is also full he has variety om tat sat thanks a lot Hare krishna <laughs>